Well, listen, I want to talk, uh, if we could jump and talk about what you talked about in your book about sacrifice. Okay. I want to just mm-hmm. kind of dig into that word just a little bit because, you know, we are, as you've kind of evidenced and especially in our culture, you know, weighed as human doings, not as human beings. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. you know, our, our God looks at us as beings as that he loves mm-hmm. and, and calls us his beloved and, and we're his beings. But most of our life is measured and weighed. And then we tend to weigh ourselves, even in the church, mm-hmm. but how much we do, you know, yeah. and we set up models around that. And it's like, ah, mm-hmm. but let's talk about because God does call us to sacrifice. And sometimes mm-hmm. that word you know, can, can be used like, Oh, I need to sacrifice more or I need to, I need to Mm -hmm. do more. But you Mm -hmm. said in your book, you said sacrifice is sacred, a sacred act of offering something to God for the purpose of drawing near to him. I like that. Mm -hmm. And then you also talked about in Hebrews chapter 13, where we read that through Jesus, we are, and I think you put the quote, continually offering up a sacrifice of praise to God. Mm -hmm. Uh, And that was out of, out of Hebrews. Um, meaning mm-hmm. we are continually uh, to do so that we mm-hmm. can draw close to him. But that's our motive. That's our purpose. So yes. what are your thoughts mm-hmm. on that? Just just share a little bit about that. Yeah, I think, you know, again, I'm going back to uh, Hebrews 13, excuse mm-hmm. me, uh, where he just says through him. So that's through Jesus. Then let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Yeah, as you mentioned. Okay. And I love that verse because I think it's um, it really brings some theological clarity to in terms of the sacrifice that we're offering is not a sacrifice of atonement. Mm. You know, it's not a sacrifice to get us in good graces with God. Right. All of that is done. The gospel, mm. right? Jesus is done once and for all the sacrifice of atonement. Just to make that clear yeah. to anyone listening, there's nothing more, you know, that gets us in good graces with him. But this is a sacrifice of praise mm. that draws us near to God because why? Because we want him. And we love him and we want to be near him. And so that is the process of everything, whether it's diapers, whether it's a live stream, right? Whether it's a vacation. I mean, truly, do we go to a beautiful location and look at everything as, okay, well, how much can I, how much can I consume? And, you know, can I show off back to people at home or how can I enjoy the beauty of God and give everything that I have? to be near him. Mm -hmm. Right. I I mean, I think that's really the, the bottom line. And so when we talk about sacrifice, if it's a sacrifice, I think a lot of us are even feeling maybe the pinch financially these days. If it's a sacrifice of money, you know, it's going, I know that God, if I do this in obedience to him, he will draw me near to him. Mm -hmm. He will provide for me. If I sacrifice this time and I do this thing for this person, God is going to be near to me. He's going to take care of me. Right. So just I just think it's an acknowledgement that anything that I am truly offering up or giving over or giving up to God, he sees, he knows he will draw me near to him and it will be it will be worth it. Right. It will be worth it.